Yo, what's up? Bringing you that on Mobita Show 21. So we're back with another No Money Spent. For this one, we have, I think, like six packs to open up. But we're going to talk about the big collection that is dropping on Friday. You know, what you should be looking at. You know, kind of how to prepare for it. And I guess what we're doing as far as that goes. But there's, there's a lot to talk about with that alone. And then also on Friday, we have Team Affinity Season 2 coming out. There's nothing you really have to do for that, but there's definitely going to be a lot of rewards coming in. So we'll just start off with the packs because we have six. Now, these six packs, I think they're all from Battle Royale. <laughs> just bad Battle Royale runs because the new program did just drop. And, you know, we're trying to we're trying to level up that program a little bit and get some of those new rewards that just came out. But we, we have not been doing good in br pretty much like i get three wins and then lose and i'm just like uh i'm starting over you know because at the very least like i want to get on a good run to get nine wins right which i could have continued with most of the runs that i played yesterday but i also want to go 12 and 0 you know and we're getting some silvers there but yeah these packs have been so bad for us lately just a lot of silvers right there which you know is whatever but just speaking about battle royale really quick because this is definitely you know a good focus for us right now this battle royale program that did drop we got i guess nine wins yesterday doing this but like i said we, we probably went like nine and four or nine and five doing this so it was not a good session but this reggie jackson card looking pretty nice 175k if we can get him now i did use him in a couple br games you know not a bad looking card at all but this is definitely you know a lot of stubs if you can get him early on and then you got the new br flawless guys an outlier. This card looks really, really nice. Maybe even a card we just keep on the team, you know? Because at this point, like, we don't really need stubs like that. Well, we kind of do, but we really don't, you know? So we're just trying to build up our collection pretty much and, you know, just get usable cards. But if that card's not good for us, you know, obviously we would sell them at that price. So BR program, you know, season three, 26 days to do it. Definitely something I would focus on and, you know, try to you know, win like two or three games a day if you can, if you have that time and get it done within the 26 days. So that's one thing we are going to be trying to do. But I guess the next thing really is, is this big collection that's coming out on Friday. So actually there is a stub sale going on too. We'll talk about that a little bit. You know, it did affect the market a little bit, but I was saying like I was, I was 99% sure we would be getting a stub sale this week. That's why I went ahead and did collections on the weekend because i was pretty sure this stub sale was going to happen and you know i wasn't trying to deal with the increase in prices but the 28th big day for content 28th we got team affinity season two been talking about it the last few days so i'm not going to go over it that much but a lot of new cards there very good way to build up your team especially no money spent but you also should be able to get a lot of new packs and packs equals stubs for the no money spent and then a new collection and even more content. So the more content one's actually very interesting because there's a 42 series event. Or I'm guessing it's a 42 series event. That's what I think of when it says Club 42. So I'm hoping for that event, we get some 42 series choice packs. And if that's the case, we'll, we'll probably get Jackie Robinson, you know, very soon, you know, throughout that event. But the 28th, we got the big collection. How many legends and flashbacks do you have? That's the question. So let's go through our collection and kind of go over that a little bit. Now, I will say this is definitely something that we expected, but not this soon. <laughs> you know, this is something that I even mentioned this last week. You know, this is what we would this is what we would be starting to focus on, but this is something that I kind of expected later in June or July for it to come out now totally out of the blue, you know? So, we're not really prepared for that and it kind of throws off like what we were trying to do but for right now what you guys should be doing you know within i guess the next couple of days is seeing what you have through all of these card types so if you guys are not sure how this works and i'm not sure how it's going to work this this year either you know they can completely change it but typically you need like a x amount of number of cards per series type so like there's how many there's actually a good amount of these there's four eight twelve 16 it could be something like collect five postseason cards and you get a voucher and then that voucher they're probably going to open up a new tab i would assume and that voucher goes into 
you know, a reward, a collection reward that you would be able to unlock a new card. So we're not really sure how good that card is going to be, if it's going to be a 99 or not, or if there's going to be multiple cards. I have a feeling because they kind of announced this a little bit earlier that we will see more than one big collection reward and maybe it's not even obtainable on day one. But as I was saying, you definitely, you definitely want to get as many of these cards as you can, preferably for free. You know, there's a lot of cards that come from, you know, the collections like live series collections. You get, you know, over 30, right? You get, I think it's like 42, 43. I think you get 43 if you've done all the live series collections, which we've done, right? But you do get some cards through like the Battle Royale program. If you guys have been playing that the first two seasons, and I think I mentioned like throughout that, you definitely would want to hold on to those cards. And we'll see, like this Vita Blue right now, he comes from the new Battle Royale program. If we get to that, you know, if we get this pack, we'll probably open it, save it and keep it. But obviously, if it's a card we don't need, you can sell it. So with postseason cards, we don't have that many right now. We have Henderson, Puckett, and then some of these low-end diamonds. You also get cards from like moments and player programs and even the daily moments. So that's stuff you definitely, you know, want to be up to date with and be doing those because all these free cards, whether you like them or not, like if you're planning on ever using them or not, they're going to be useful for just this collection alone. So with veteran cards, again, we only have a few Bagwell, Yount, Grove. Actually, we have a decent amount. <laughs> we have a decent amount, but I would say go pick up the bronze versions, you know, whatever cards in the market. Now these cards, like these prices already shot up like crazy because a player like Killabrew, he was, let's see, before this was announced, he was going for under a hundred stubs. Like you could buy him for under a hundred or sell him at, it looks like 228-ish, you know, like around that mark. And now they're going for 790 and 914. So these actually might continue to go up on Friday. Obviously, these are cards we would have invested in if we had more time. But since they just straight up dropped this like so early, we didn't have a chance to do that. So I would look at some of these options and pick up the low-end versions if you can. A lot, of the, a lot of the bronze, a lot of the silvers maybe. You know, a lot of these cards, like these cards right here, these are all from the BR program. So that's why I would say do those. And let me see, like a player like Deekman, he's go he goes for around 4K. And some of these cards, like they're they're low price, but they definitely will jump up a lot, I would say, on Friday, especially if it's a card that is needed for the collection. Because we don't really know if every card type is gonna be needed. They could just do like future stars. And then I think like a lot of the cards in Team Affinity Season 2 are like second half series cards or milestone cards. So they could be picky with like what actual card type is for the collection. For all-star series cards, we do have a few diamonds. You know, not that many, but a few diamonds. And actually, again, with like all-star cards, we, have, we actually have quite a few. See, like I don't even know what I have because most of the cards that we've gotten, we just kept. And... That's pretty much it. Like Griffey, I picked up a few of him when I saw him low. Like I think I got these at 300 stubs. Nothing crazy, you know, but I would have I would have liked to be able to stack up on these a little bit more. And then let's take a look at the breakout. So breakout, you know, we have a few diamonds here, a few golds. But like I'm saying, you definitely want to pick up all the silvers, all the golds. I think there's still time to invest in these cards if you would really like. You know, I think you could still end up profitable from here until Friday. I know it's only two days, but there's a very good chance, you know, if these cards are needed, these could shoot up like 300%, you know, something crazy like that, especially if it's a good card. If it's not a good card, then maybe nothing really happens to the market. But the fact that this is going on with a stub sale, I feel like a lot of people will be spending come Friday. Player of the month cards, you know, these are kind of easy to get because you get it through the program. Now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get these cards too. You know, these go for 5K. Maybe they go up in price, you know, come Friday, especially if they're 5K. You know, I don't think it's a big risk if you wanted to go ahead and buy them. So I have 144K. This is something we might do like a low key investment on until then. And then tops now, maybe the same thing, but tops now, like this is the one thing that sucks because 
we have been preparing for the May Player of the Month program. So all our stubs are literally in Tops Now cards right now, which I'm not like, I'm not mad about that because we're, we're investing for that. But if like this collection is good come Friday, we might not be able to get it done until, you know, the May Player of the Month program comes out and we can bank on the investments that we have. So we might have to wait a few days, but this Tops Now investment, I'm still feeling pretty good about. And I think even right now, like if I sold most of them, they would be profitable, but obviously when the program comes out, we'll be even more profitable. So that's that's just what I'm waiting for. And I think by by then, you know, we might be able to get like, I think when the Tops Now program comes out, we'll be close to like a million stubs, you know, once we sell everything that we invested in. Signature series, there's not that many. So I think like if there is a signature series voucher, you would just need one. Or, you know, they might not even use that as a voucher. Same with Silver Slugger. So, like, players like Cabrera, these prices definitely could go up. Like, I sold them at, like, 22k. If I just waited, you know, a couple extra days, we might have been able to bank out a little bit more. But I already sold these cards. And I sold everything we had from the flash sale before, like, before, before yesterday, right? Before yesterday... And all this new stuff came out. I sold everything from that flash sale. So we don't have anything crazy, right? We don't have anything we're invested in now. Like we have all our stubs, except, you know, like we, we reinvested in the tops now. But let's see, second half cards, you know, there's not that many. That's why, like, I'm not sure how they're going to play this out. And again, I don't know how big this collection is. Milestone cards, we have five of them, or actually we have six of them. We did pick up all the second inning bosses too. I should mention that. So we have those. I think I bought them all at 33, 34K. So kind of around the price they are right now. And we bought those, I believe, on Monday. You know, after I did the no money spent. Maybe I bought them on Tuesday too. But yeah, you know, Future Stars. Actually, I would buy these three guys. You know, I think it's a... Actually, they went up, huh? Did these guys go up? Okay, maybe not all of them. But these definitely went up a little bit. You know, definitely some cards you could invest in for like 5K, 6K. It's not a no risk investment because obviously they're they're over the limit, but you still can flip these cards, I think, for right now for a profit. And then the last sets are like future star. Actually, we just went over that. Last sets are prospects. I probably should pick up these prospects. Like Kelnick, he's probably gonna be one of those collection rewards. Like if you have 10 prospects, I think that's all you need. If you have Kelnick, you know, that would be part of like the voucher. And then 42 series. I don't know about this one, you know. I'm just hoping that the, the next event that comes out has these packs. Like, these are 72K now. They were 60 earlier. They just, they keep going up. They keep going up. It's like, it's so hard to get these cards. And there was definitely chances to get them at like 20, 30K and we just ignored them. But yeah, I mean, we'll have to see how that goes. But again, with this collection, it's kind of hard to prepare because it just, it came in such short notice. You know, normally you have more time to, you know, invest in cards. That's what we were we were going to work towards too after like the Tops Now release and the Player of the Month program release. But with this, I would say try to pick up all the low level cards, the bronze, the silvers. If you have anything right now, save it. If you have any cards that are sellable, save it until Friday. See how the market plays out. See what the collection reward may be. And, you know, if you don't like the card or if you don't, if you want to just wait until, you know, you get more cards and you would just want to profit early on, sell everything on Friday. And then, you know, over time, those prices will start to decrease, I would say. And plus, there's going to be a lot of free cards you can get on Friday, probably 15 future stars and then a mix of other cards like second half hero cards, milestone cards from Team Affinity. So there's going to be a lot of free cards We'll be able to get on Friday. I would probably wait until then to really make decisions if you want to sell anything or not. But with this collection, I'm hoping it's something good. But I'm also hoping it's not like the collection. You know, I hope it's just like, I kind of hope like it's the 42 series collection where it's collect like a certain amount of vouchers. And you get a lower version of a card, maybe like a 97 overall or a 98 and then if you collect, you know, another, like there's, there's what, there's 15 sets right here, right? So they could do something like every three vouchers, you know, is a card or every five vouchers is a card. And maybe it's not all obtainable on Friday, but obviously like as time goes on, it will be obtainable. 
and you'll be able to get you know all of the vouchers but i am hoping that it's more than one player reward and we have at least three you know kind of like how this is set up that would be kind of nice i don't really know where else to go with this but it did come at i would say a bad time for us just because like i said we were investing in tops now and that's where all our stubs is we still have 147k which i honestly want to put that into tops now cards but because we might need some stubs for friday we'll see how that plays out like if we're able to do some of those collections on friday then we'll put our other 147k into you know the remainder of these tops now keep investing on these for for the player of the month program coming out probably you know sometime next week i would say and that's gonna be you know some nice profits for us and then we can take those profits and potentially finish off the collection if we haven't already so going into like our completed orders i did say we started selling all the back ribs i think i'm down to let me see my act actually i sold them all i sold them all they're all gone now so that's one thing we've been doing we pretty much wiped out all our diamond equipment that we got you know that we invested in so we didn't make a good amount of stubs the batting gloves they're gone i think i sold most of these at like a thousand two hundred that range to a thousand like four hundred five hundred so now they're a little bit higher than what they were and then with the back rips you know we had 250 of these i sold i would say a majority of them actually i would say i sold like a hundred of them at around like 2500 around that mark and then you know maybe 50 or 80 of them at like the 2700 mark 2900 and then the rest of them pretty much came at like 3400 i sold some at 3700 so we probably made a very good amount of stubs from here probably like three four five hundred now nah, probably more i would say we made like 500k from these from this investment maybe even more but around 500k and then counting you know the batting gloves another 100k we probably made like 600k out of 350 investing in these actually that doesn't make sense if i invested 350k i probably got like seven 700 plus k back i don't know i don't, I don't know the math right now but we definitely made a good profit so that was definitely a dub of an investment for us and then just for you guys you know still working on collections with the stub sale now i think the stub sale is only for playstation users so it's not i guess as bad now i would not do collections at this time if i were you guys the stub sale ends on june 2nd so i would kind of wait like a week after that you know to see how the market dips a little bit but for right now like these prices did increase a little bit acuna i saw them at like 260 but 255 right now like i bought acuna i think at 230 i think i bought acuna at 230 so he went up like a good 25k i bought jacob de Gram at around 140 so he went up another 20k most of these cards i would say went up like 20 30k for like the 90 plus and maybe like these lower end guys went up anywhere from like not i wouldn't say that much probably like 5k max but some of them might have might have went up like 10k but a lot of the lower end guys didn't really change that much so the overall market it definitely is up but honestly i don't think it's as bad as i thought it would have been so again you know if you're if you're looking into that i would i would hold on if you're doing those collections and then just kind of see you know how it's going to play out on friday with the new collection and what you have to do i didn't mention i bought these guys so we do have all three of them now we'll probably debut them within the next couple of days but we picked all three of these guys at around 33k so probably 100k or so we spent on these guys and then we have the 147 left and whatever we have invested in the tops now that's something that i will keep track of and like when when that whole thing goes down i'll tell you guys the actual profit but tops now something you could invest in or you could start investing in i guess i guess these collections these flashbacks and legends the next two days and see how that plays out on friday and yeah you know friday is going to be a good day a lot of content to cover and we'll have to see what happens right we'll have to see what happens with that collection i think i'm prepared for it though i think regardless of what the collection is we will be able to get it done you know fairly quickly maybe even on the same day but i do think we could get it done in a week or so because 
we are we are set with our stubs so we'll have to see how that plays out but if you guys have any questions let me know down below in the comments and if you guys are new make sure to subscribe drop a like in the video thank you guys for watching and i'm out